This is Mr. Bill, and I have just gone over Mr. Bill and wiped him down. And the seat is nicely carded. And I just wiped the seat down, which is just loosely attached for moving around. And uh, I haven't done the seat rail again yet, but I'll do that in a minute. But other than that, she's wiped down. And we, on Mr. Bill, we have one real Harley Davidson mirror, and his other mirror, according to Mr. Bill himself, had broken. And he never did get that to me, unfortunately. But uh, he has a little bit of scuff here, where his buddy, who let ride it, uh, dropped the motorcycle and put this dent here. And I have located this emblem and replaced it because it was dented. And unfortunately, my dent guy popped the paint. But I wiped her down. She's got some Duncan scratches. This was not there when I put the spike up to Duncan's. But uh, she's still a very nice original paint black. And uh, I sure wish the uh, rear wheel was as nice as this front wheel. I don't know how that managed, but usually it's the front wheel that's rougher. And this turn signal kit, if you'll recall, the only thing he changed since he uh, got the bike when they came out with the turn signal law. And as you can see, the chassis, he said he never washed it. The chassis has never been apart. And I have, hopefully, all of this bike. Won't know until I actually try to assemble it. But Duncan didn't steal. And uh, I believe I cleaned these gas caps up. Yes, I did. So the gas caps are, are clean with the uh, citrus. And uh, the Rusty Co. and all that sort of stuff. Now, one of the things I noticed here it's missing this little piece here. But a buddy of mine was at Harley Davidson and took a picture of their 47 and it didn't have the clip here and it didn't have the little cover. Here, and this is a brand new bike that they took off the floor in 47. Didn't even have them on both sides. And as you saw from the invoices, this here is a Chicago Motorcycle Supply Spotlight. And this one here, according to Mr. Bill, was asked, they got it new. And I always wonder, well, huh, how did that happen? Well, the invoices are clear. That's how it happened. It got sent out, and the dealer put that on in the spotlights after he received the motorcycle. So, unfortunately, he converted the 12-volt when he did the uh, turn signals. So that's something we'll have to deal with at some point in the future. And here's this stuff here. And uh, here's the rear end of the bike. Very nice and clean. And it's not as, not as nice as the uh, blue one, but she's still a, a really nice black 47. And uh, I'd say this is the fourth nicest 47 I've had, had in order of bikes. Overall, unfortunately, I didn't get to ride her that much when uh, the motor was, uh, due to lack of maintenance, started fouling plugs. So, uh, oops, obviously, I didn't wipe that off enough. But uh, here she is. In case you're wondering, this is a number 24 here. And these do work, the little accessory blinkies from the 60s, they, they do work. It's got this really cool uh, throttle control. I'm not sure when he put that on. Uh, my assumption would be somewhere in the uh, 80s or 90s, possibly 70s, but I don't know. And this is uh, Harley's accessory turn signal kit here, is where it was wired up. And it does have the correct early generator oil switch. There's the ignition switch, it's been replaced at some time. Our speed is still really nice and cherry. And uh, that's that on this motorcycle. We're going to come over here now and take a look at this motor. So, for those listening, mind I did the 3M 
protective two rubbing compound and the premium liquid wax. Here's the motor that Duncan built for that bike. And he stole the generator out of this is just another generator plug. It's a shark. So beautiful. Air cleaning for that motorcycle. And the Duncan that uh, rebuilt the transmission for that motorcycle. And uh, Mr. Bill says this is the original muffler that he got it with. He had a fishtail on it one time. You can see here on the tail end where it had busted off. So we do have most or all this bike. It was a complete running bike at one time. And uh, this is our higher end 47 here. This is number 47FL10294. Very nice bike, and hopefully I'll be able to eventually put this bike back together. We shall see. But we shall hold. So this is an update on that, and uh, we'll just give you a real fast update of today. Uh, this is October 16th, 2014, and I finished Mud Dauber, as you guys have saw in the public video. Polished my dauber up. He's looking pretty spry for his older self. And this, this bike is such such character. And he's he's the roughest of all the 47s I've ever had. I put probably a thousand miles on it because it like took uh, finally went poof. But he has such character. This bike, such a heart. And then uh, here's all blue over here. And. Uh, we saw that when I just finished wiping Old Blue down. And we still have uh, fairly good on the dust so far. And Old Blue's looking good and clean and spry. And I still have to uh, wipe down the other motorcycles. And our Sturgis is sold and we're waiting on whatever the owner wants to do with that. And uh, I have to go down the row and wipe all the Emerson dust off of everything. So we just finished Old Blue here this morning and uh, Red 42 Champ needs uh, a brief wiping. So that will be real easy. So we're going to take care of Champ here in just a little bit. And uh, then we'll just continue down the row and start cleaning them up. So that's that. That's an update video. Uh, hopefully I haven't bored you guys too much with this. So watch it when you're really bored. And I will see you all real soon. And again, thank you for all your support. Bye-bye now.